Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading June 2019 for money and finance. Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising. This is a predictive condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment and share. It really helps me out a lot and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay Pisces, off camera I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Page of Cups, Pisces. This is a water energy. It can be a person, a younger person, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Or you, Pisces. This is successful manifesting and wishing. It's paying attention to your synchronicities and hunches. And there's sensitivity. This could be a message or a communication about love. Could be something that's bringing you joy and offer. Might be about a wedding or an engagement. It does carry emotional risk. And you find out where you stand and you feel things will work out. This can indicate the birth of a child or psychic ability beginning to emerge. These are thoughts and dreams of joy and love. This is news of a new lover or a love that's imminent or someone who is sensitive and helpful. These are new insights. You should be expressing your wishes and fears clearly and directly. The fish is a symbol of creative imagination and water represents the feelings and the unconscious mind. This can be the birth of creative imagination and new life. If this is a young person, they're sensitive and kind-natured, they're the emotional type with strong artistic talents. This could be the news of new feelings and attitudes. If you've been hurt or afraid to let go emotionally, this card can indicate the fragile new beginnings and starting to trust again. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Ten of Cups, Pisces. This is water energy and shared love. Really good card. This is happy family life and contentment, and it's lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's perfect human love and true love, better than you expected, and you're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home and shared love and blessings. There's peace and family, and a very grateful and joyous family, and you have enough happiness to share with those around you. These are emotional connections and home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the love and happiness you have in your life and focus on what you do have, not on what you have not yet received. The rainbow is symbolic of connectedness with God, with creation, and of the fulfillment of great wishes, the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. The Three of Swords, Pisces. This is air energy. You might have feel that your hopes were higher than the results. There could be some kind of separation or severance and you're feeling isolated from something that you love. And you're feeling this pain of separation. But the suffering does come from holding on to the past. It can be loss and sorrow and some kind of betrayal or a necessary sacrifice. It could be the end of a relationship. It could be a love triangle or just a third party that's involved. It can be losing your job. It can be some kind of a re rejection. It could also be the end of some sort of ailment through surgery or letting go of some way of thinking that's no longer useful. It's not an easy loss, but the release will make room for further growth and maturity. Pain is a strong motivator to change, and when you fix it, you grow. It could be you may have suffered a disagreement with someone, and now the end of the disagreement is near, and relief after the tension or argument is at hand. 
You may need to forgive and forget. Your fourth card, and this is the card of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Four of Pentacles, Pisces. This is Earth energy. You're holding on and you're being defensive and comfortable in your, your zone. You're being cautious and stable and trying to have balance. And you're conserving. But you might have a fixed attitude and that would limit and block new opportunities. But you're trying to save and be stable and protect your money and your boundaries. But the advice is to go with the flow because your foundation is firm. This is holding back on something, and nothing ventured is nothing gained. It could also be being a miser with your love and emotion as well as money. So take a risk and get things moving again. You might be in, becoming in danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. Your advice is to be generous in your wealth and spirit, and you'll be cultivating your best talents. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The page of pentacles, Pisces, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is an offer or a communication of stability. This is also your second page in your layout, which represents disquiet, which I could see with the three of swords there. This person's attitude suggests they desire money, and they're goal-oriented. This can be good news or communication regarding your worldly ambitions. This could be a student. They have respect for learning. It's someone that moves slowly. They're absorbed. They're learning. It's a communication that came in slower because, unlike the knight, the page has no horse, so it takes longer. This person is practical and cautious. This can be a new job, or a new project, or a new investment, even new studies. As a person, this would be a person that's youthful and dependable and practical, and they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. They're a loyal friend and they give good advice. And he seems solemn and scholarly, but he's willing to work hard to learn about what interests him so very much. Pages can be children, or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is the love of material things, and it's a good card to start a new business, an opportunity to make money, starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This can be an unexpected new start. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Pisces, you've got rainbow blessings. Twice in your reading here, the rainbow, a special message. Blessings are showering in your life. All forms of blessing are cascading, just like the rainbow has all the colors of the spectrum, so is every hue of your life blessed. This is a great time to start a project, initiate a relationship, or purchase a house. Begin a health program, or start a new job, or change careers. Just like that page of pentacles says here. Very synchronistic reading here for you, Pisces. So let go of hesitations and concerns. Whatever you dream of for your future, this is the time to start. You will succeed. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that when the rainbow appears in the sky above, or in an oracle deck, have faith that blessings are abounding. Count your blessings. Be grateful for ones received and know that many lie ahead for you. In the deepest sense, you are the blessing. In many ways, the rainbow is a messenger from the Creator, letting you know that all is well. This card can also indicate that it's a time to add some color to your life. Paint a room, change the colors of your curtains, or simply spice up your life. I added a new card today because I got a new deck for Mother's Day. And it's called the Animal Message. Seek inspiration from your animal guides by Susie Green. This is a new deck I got yesterday from my son and I just love it. And you've got the Scarab Beetle. 
The Scarab Beetle Pisces. This is what is unregarded or discarded holds a secret, a seed of creation. The armored shining jewel, Egypt's sacred symbol, Scarab generates life from the waste of others. Look at what you discarded or even despise, for within it form lies the germs of creation. For some of this may mean procreation. For others, artistic creation, as symbolized by the flowering of the seeds buried in the scarab's ball of dung. Consider also, also those unregarded in the river of your life. One may be the catalyst for a new endeavor. Another hold unguessed at knowledge, or even the secret that will unlock your heart. Here's your take note moment. How do you get your attention off the bills when you're trying to attract money? Well, you pretend, you make believe, and you create games with all those bills to trick your mind into thinking good thoughts. Get your mind so busy with make-believe games of what you want that there's no room for it to send you thoughts of lack. You are a creative being, so find the best creative way for you to turn your bills and bank statements into a make-believe game of abundance. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.